These two recipes are really powerful and the good thing is they are very easy to prepare and you have a choice to choose between them. When I did my big chop, I was experiencing a whole lot of hair breakages. But after discovering natural ingredients and learning the right way to use them and also the right way to care for my hair, now my hair is growing much faster, thicker and more beautiful. And since I'm not greedy, I spill all the tea to the tea on this channel and today I'm going to show you two of such recipes. And the good thing is they are very easy to prepare, they all need one ingredient each and I know you're going to love this. So make sure you're not skipping any part of this. Let's do this. Hello my beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos, giving them thumbs ups and even sharing them. And if you're stopping by for the first time, I appreciate you clicking on this video. You could have been watching any video on YouTube right now, but you decided to click on this one. Thank you, and I promise you're going to learn a lot from today's video. The first ingredient I'm going to use for my first recipe is bay leaf. Bay leaves are really great when it comes to growing your hair. It improves blood circulation in the scalp, which in turn helps bring nutrients to the hair root, and this will help promote new healthy hair growth. It is also known to help treat dandruff and other scalp issues. If you are someone with a lot of dry hair or any scalp issues, adding bay leaves to your hair care routine is going to help resolve all these issues. So in today's video, I'm just going to use a few of my bay leaves. There is no measurement to this. It all depends on the quantity you are making. So just feel free to use either the dry bay leaves or the fresh bay leaves. But today, I'm going to use the dry bay leaves. So after putting my bay leaves in my pot like so, I'm going to add some water to it. And after adding the water, I'm going to put it on the stove and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. But hey, you all, you know how we do it here. But if you are new here and do not know how we do it here, we show a whole lot of love around this channel. So please show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell so each time I upload DIYs for hair growth like these, you will always be notified. And guess what? I just love to hear your comments. So make sure to leave me lovely comments in the section below. And do not forget to share this video with your friends and your families as well as on your social media platforms. So once this starts boiling, we're going to let it boil for only 5 minutes. Then we're going to set it aside. We're going to leave it in the hot water for it to even infuse more and also to allow it to cool down. So just after cooling down, the next thing we're going to do is to strain the water out. And guys, you can use any means that you have, either a cheesecloth, a strainer, or anything that can easily strain it. But the good thing is, with this kettle, I do not need any strainer. I just had to pour it out because it already has a strainer inside it. I just love this part. Alright, so after putting a bottle like so, there are a few ingredients I'm going to add to maximize its benefit. This treatment is so powerful but really underrated. So guys, if you're really serious about treating your scalp and also preventing the breakages and growing your hair, make sure you add this to your hair care routine. So at this point, I'm going to add some olive oil. Olive oil is going to add some shine to your hair. It is also going to help this treatment stay in your hair longer because it is only water-based. So when you add some kind of oil to it, it's going to make it stay longer. And you can use any oil of your choice. At this point, I'm also going to add some essential oil. I chose tea tree oil because it also has some properties of treating the scalp from dandruff and other scalp issues. And I just love the smell. But feel free to use any essential oil of your choice. And if you do not have any essential oil, don't even worry about it. Because the bay leaf itself is really powerful. So after having a spray bottle like so, you're going to spray it on your scalp, on your hair strands, every part of your hair, then massage it in. You can use this every other day. You do not even have to wash it out. Or you can also use it on your wash day as a hair rinse. And after every use, make sure you moisturize your hair and be consistent for faster results. So let's move on to my next recipe. So as you can see, the ingredient I'm going to use for my next recipe is clove. Clove is also powerful when it comes to treating your scalp from dandruff, dry itchy scalp and other scalp issues. Clove can also help you grow your hair much faster. A lot of you have tried clove and have had amazing results out of it. Others didn't like cloves. 
but today i'm going to show you the best way to use clove water in order to get all the benefits out of it so in case clove didn't work for you make sure you follow this trick or tip i'm going to share with you in today's video so all i did was put some clove in a mason jar there is no measurement to it it depends on how much clove water you want to make then after that you have some boiling water add it to it make sure the water is hot then just after adding the water you can see that the clothes has already started infusing into the water then after this point you're just going to set it aside and allow it to cool down so after it has cooled down you're just going to strain it you can use any means like a paper towel a strainer or anything that you have but I'm going to show you the trick that makes clove water works best for me. So make sure you're watching every part of it so you do not miss any information. And hey, you all, if you're still watching this video to this point and you haven't shown your girl some love, what are you waiting for? Show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell so each time I upload DIYs for hair growth like these, you will always be notified. And do not forget to share this video with your friends and your families as well as on your social media platforms because you may not know who you'll be helping to solve their hair issues or to grow their hair much faster and thank you for doing all this so i had to strain my clove water twice because i still had some particles in it so at this point this is what i'm going to add to my clove water guys pure glycerin if you haven't tried clove water with glycerin, guys, you need to give it a try. Glycerin is also great for people with low porosity hair. When you add glycerin to your clove water, it helps you sustain your hair much longer. It moisturizes your hair and prevents hair breakages. Some people complain that when they put clove water in their hair, their hair feels so dry. When you add glycerin to it, it is going to prevent this problem. And always remember to apply a leave-in conditioner as well as a hair moisturizer to your hair whenever you apply clove water in your hair. Clove water has similar properties just as the bay leaf water. The only difference is they have different smell. So if you think the smell of clove water is so strong for you, then you can choose to use bay leaf water and you will get the same benefits out of it. You just have to be consistent with the use because consistency is the only way you can achieve anything in this world. You're going to use these recipes the same way. You spread it on your hair. Then after that, you put in a hair moisturizer. You can use either as a hair rinse as well. They are so powerful and it doesn't matter which one you choose to use. Let me hear from you in the comment section which one you think you'll be trying next. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I know you've already given this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I know you have subscribed. Make sure to watch out for my next video because I'm going to bring you an amazing recipe that will blow your mind. Bye.